nikaamka tena nikaamka nikasema no lazima nifanye chenye nataka na hizo nyakati guys niko bado tu kwa barabara ni kwa makanga so nikaendelea nikaanza tena another process and guys kitu inauma ni unaona passport ya kwanza ilikuwa very cheap because ilikuwa 45 okay eh okay elefu nne mia tano ya Hi guys, what's up everybody? How are you all doing guys? Ah, si asante ni sana. You people really really cease to amaze me, cease to amuse me. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you so much for the love because I mean, nyi nyi mnakuwa ngalewa so. Like I really love you guys. I really 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 do love you. Either you 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 comment negatively, either you comment positively. Bado wanawapenda sana 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 sana. Anyway guys, another day, another time with a pretty Zishi and her memories, her memories, her mom. I mean. <laughs> anyway guys, so we are back again na my story to Elena my story uh to know nauliza maswali mingi sana. Sasa hizo maswali tunataka kujibu. Yeah. So, yeah. Jitambulisha tena. Hello to pretty Zishi. Mama pretty wish mean pretty mean pretty wish mother for kids mother for kids anyway guys so we are back again to continue with where we stopped uh, at the previous video so to your child like now mimi na mama yangu tumejikalisha nimejaribu kuolewa nikaona ndo ienda ienda ni na nini ah and then i decided to come to go back home yeah so vile yeah. nilikuwa naolewa niki nikirudi family liko inasema nini wewe ulikuwa unafikiria nini kwa kichwa wako okay about family waliniachia wakasema wewe na mtoto wako pambana na nini i remember even kuna day eh, kule nilikujanga nikamwaza tule tuwaru nilikuwa nimeongea na my brother and i was like this idea kukua single pia si rahisi usikuwe single man course nikipata kwa mume mzuri sita kwa single ni akikuwa hivi mbaya mimi natoka juu bisi kubali kuteswa eh mimi yeah. so nilikuwa natafuta my brother after the ile party ya kama baba you know mm. ndio ule mwanaume akwe na ile uoga mm. akituona aseme hey hapa si tachezea huyu mtoto wangu mm -hmm. um, in fact mwanafunzi mm. so my uh, my brother akanenge ah no eh mimi niko busy so ni kama kuni hapa So wako ndio changamoto but family si kwa najua ina discuss nini but hiyo ndio niliona changamoto kubwa and i decide kungangana peke yangu nikaamua hapa nitaribu kila kitu until the sorry cause pia hii ni challenge sana single mom kupitia unakuta unapokaa na watoto unashindwa kwa control yeah, sure. yeah. so and, and then at that time hizo time kama nilikuwa nashinda nikitoka katoka nikitaka kuolewa ndio pia tena my brother my biological brother na yako kwa next time kuna time alipigwa dia kachoma mm. akaambiwa enda shule ana akasema mimi sitaki shule mm. yeah you can my like alisema nisho na amechomwa mguu ni kilem <laughs> alikuwa kilema mguu akasema mimi sitaki shule so you can imagine i think too maybe too kulikuwa kitu kana jaribu kutendelea but again si same hivyo you never know eh but eh mimi sitaki kwenda shule mimi nataka kuolewa brother mimi nataka kwenda shule hata hata haijulikani nini anataka kufanya mm -hmm. you see mm -hmm. so but again we overcame all that yeah so my mama kakwa makanga all through somesha kili parent no she pay rent chakula life was good mm -hmm. mimi nasema life ilikuwa poa hizo nyakati eh zenye tulihama life ilikuwa poa cuz <laughs> it was only me my mom we are five me my mom my, my brothers and my sister mm. so ilikuwa tu sisi peke yetu so mimi nilikuwa ngule life ilikuwa nzuri cuz nilikuwa na freedom mm. nilikuwa naweza vaa kinyasa naweza vaa crop top but hata kitamu nilikuwa naweza vaa hata mimi hata hiyo mimi ni mwalimu mimi hata kwa kwako kweli eh eh mimi ni chapa chapa lakini mimi chapa ni dadu mimi nilikuwa natoroka anga mimi nilikuwa natoroka anga chapo hata tonye ni mani chapo kuna mchapanga. Anyway guys, so acha sasa tuambie how she managed to kwenda Saudi because alianza alianza kutembea nataka kwenda Saudi nilikuwa class 6. Mm. Class 6. Yes guys, my mom alianza nataka kwenda Saudi nikiwa class 
but I can manage kwenda when I was in form 2 Imagine. I don't know nini ilikuwa inaendelea kwa katikati so I think ata tuelezea yeah tuelezea okay so uh, nikaanza process mm -hmm. and uh, nikapata kuanza um, process nipa in fact mm -hmm. kuanza process which year was 2015 mm -hmm. nikaanza process 2015 mm -hmm. Nikawa nataka nienda kwa haraka ndio at least maisha vile nilikuwa naona yanaenda mm -hmm. and i was like no i can't do that hata mm -hmm. nijaribu hii kwanza mm -hmm. so kwa sababu ya makanga pia ilikuwa unajua ile makanga si kuwa permanent kwa gari yeah. so ni ile wanaita squad wale wa makanga wanajua squad ni kwenda ubatik mm -hmm. inabidi mm -hmm. mamka mapema so mambo school fees ya single na si kuanga na mpango I was alone. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and the process. Mm -hmm. And I remember when Yalikwan and Gaid was my sister mm -hmm. because they are in Saudi. It's on Yaka. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, in Taftia agent, mm -hmm. Akani Gaid Kwakila Kitu because uh, it's on Muda, mm -hmm. see Kwana do anything. Yeah. And uh, Sasa Aliponi Pereka Ko Fisi Flani. Mm -hmm. Nika wakamani hiki kunitafutia passport yeah. But hii uh, nini Inaitu aje But that certificate I'm the one nilitafuti Peke yako Peke yako With my name Ok nilisike hii funumi but mi mwenye nilitafutia hana Ok So nikienda pale kwa hini ofisi Wakawa wame maliza kutafuta everything Sasa ni mambo tu na ngoja nini Visa mm -hmm. Eh, na nikaambiwa ni, nitulie so misi nikakuja nyumbani mm -hmm. natulia 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 nikaamua no wacha siku moja niende niangalie mbona nawapigia simu na washughuli nilienda pale guys nikapata wale watu waliama na vitu zangu mm -hmm. passport kila kitu walienda so mimi nikiwa huku nilikuwa nafikiria jua nilikuwa nikipiga simu ananiambia tulia tu tukipata tu chance hizo nakuja so mi ni kwa natubia ni kingoja majibu ya kumbe walipote. So ni kaka hiyo 2015, 2016, mm -hmm. 2017 eh, hapo. 2018 mm -hmm. ni kamuka tena. Ni kamuka, ni kasema no, lazima nifanya kenya nataka. Yeah. Na hizo nyakati guys, ni kwa badu tu kwa barabara ni kwa makanga. So ni kaendelea, ni kaza tena another process. And guys, kitu inauma ni, unaona passport ya kwanza ilikuwa very cheap. Because it was 45. Mm -hmm. K. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 4500. Yeah, 4500. 40, 40, mm -hmm. Sorry. But here, it 12. 12. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, because we are saying, we are not going to be So it was hard, but we are going to be able to do it. Agent Nigipata is going to be Imagine that we are going to be able Mm. Na mshukuru sana anaitwa Virginia. Mm. Ya Virginia mali huko na kushukuru sana. Najua atakuja kutana hivi. Mm. Alinitekea sana. Nilikuwa naenda huko imagine atanyima kila mtu atafea lakini mimi ananipea. Alikuwa ananiangalia na niambia aki uko adu wake. Mbona Mungu asikufungulie tu? Alinijali sana. In fact mpaka akanipea proof yetu huko kwenye tulikuwa tunaenda kwa hospital. Perfect. Mimi ndani ni proof. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> 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 So, mm -hmm. I really thank God for the future. Jesus stressed me as an anam. One of Kiria Marabu and of Pianatus of mine. Okay, Nikafika Saudi. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Eh, tumie na tapwa. Eh, Saudi. Okay, nikafika Saudi. Eh, hiyo ni nyumba yangu. Mbosi wangu aje mtoa Kenya. Okay, mama alikuwa mbaya, but baba alikuwa mzuri sana. And you know Saudi, the problem is baba akionekana mzuri ufai kwa social life because wana wanaona ni kama labda kutakuwa na pia. Yeah, so baba alikuwa mzuri sana. Mama ndiye alikuwa vita hivi kidogo na mambo mengi. But I really thank God nilifika poa, nikapata nyumba ya watoto watatu na mama na baba. Lakini walikuwa wanadanganya watoto na wengi. Mwanzo mzuri. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But only mistake nilipata kwa ile nyumba hawa kuniweka kwa room si kwa nalala kwa room. Mm-hmm. Wali niweka kwa balcony. And you can imagine wana wako Saudi watawai kijito kwambie Saudi kuna bombe. Totally. Nilikuwa na muka hivi na kaa ngea. Umamka. Umamko mtoka kwa balcony. Kwa balcony. Unajua sasa huko kuna baridi hizo nyakati baridi kuna siku ya baridi mm. unatetemeka but sasa nilikuwa nimetoa vitu za kujifunika mingi okay. wakati wa baridi na kwa atleast wakati wa jua ujifunike sasa ile vumbi na kujanga ina yote na kubwekea okay so ili hapa naje ukatoka kwa nyumba yenu ulitolewa Kenya ukaeko uka ukaamua uka kwa Kemboi Okay, uh, niliishi kwa ile nyumba mm-hmm. niliishi sana mm-hmm. niliishi almost one year seven month mm-hmm. And uh, so kitu ilinikera kando na kuweko kwa balcony. Mm-hmm. Unajua <laughs> serikali. Please unisikie. Watu wakitoka hapa Kenya wanaambiwa mwarabu anafaa kununulie mafuta, yani aku provide mm-hmm. everything. Yeah. Hata mpaka anafaa kupea wifi mm-hmm. ikiwezekana. Mm-hmm. But ile nyumba waliteka advantage. You can imagine apata 900 real not is yeah Kenyan mm-hmm. mm-hmm. but unakuta sasa hapo hata ndio najimlia mafuta na jimlia credit na jimlia kila kitu mm-hmm. na unaenda unapata ukipewa ile pesa unatumia more than unajipata tumetumia 300 because ule mama ilifika mahali hata hawezi nimlia sauce na wakati wa baridi umeingia na Saudi vitu zinakuanga double double mm-hmm. baridi ikiingia ni double jua ikiingia ni double hii weather ya vumbi ikiingia ni double si kama Kenya. Mm-hmm. So nilikuwa na spend sana. Mm-hmm. E, na kusema kweli hiyo ndio ilikuwa chanzo cha mimi kufikiria nitoke nje. Yeah. Si kuchapana. Mm-hmm. Si kuchapana. Ah. Anyway. <laughs> Nimuuliza si kuchapana because I remember kuna time aliambia ni chapa sijui ni ni mfanye kazi sijui ana in the same house. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think maybe later she does something. No, 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 I really thank God because huyo uh, alikuwa Bangladesh, ha? Eh? And alikuwa mpanyikazi wa kina mama. Mm. Kwa kina mama, mm. you know. Alafu sasa huyu madam wangu wako na hiyo tabia ya Arabu, wanakubeba wanakupeleka kwa nyumba zingine wasifanyie kazi. Alafu akulipi. Alafu akulipi. Mm. So huyu mama alikuwa na ile kamchezo ka ananibeba ananipeleka kwao. You, you can imagine ule ule mfanyikazi wa kule. Mm-hmm. Lakini kifika kule wanasema ha kada Kenya Kenya kwa hiyo asimano mshugu ni mia mia ya yeah, sawi kida sawi kida hadi Bangladesh mafi maalum unaona so wanataka advantage ya mtu so ule Bangladesh pia kanu kwa bengi so ni nilikuwa naperekwa kwa kina mama mm-hmm. eh, mama na madam wangu mm-hmm. naenda na nafanya kazi sasa wanataka advantage yangu wanasema mm-hmm. Kenya na anajua kazi mm-hmm shinda bangladesh kwa sababu anasema anga kenya mtu anafanya kazi vizuri eh but uh, wanalalamika pia wanasema wa kenya imagine vichwa ngumu vichwa wenda zimu <laughs> kenya zimapeleka wanasema but wanasema wanajua kazi sana by the way kenya mtu wanasifiwa saudi mm-hmm. kwa kazi but ukiingia kwa hii kichwa ngumu wenda zimu pia wanajulikana mm-hmm. so huyo mbangladesh alitaka advantage pia eh mm-hmm. kuona madam wangu ananicontrol akisema inti maalum shughul koye sa wikida sa wikida mm-hmm. naye akaona sasa ana take that advantage mm-hmm. hapo ndio niliona nimechosha <laughs> nilishtukia nimemrusha nje guys but hiyo uh, uh, ikuwa reason nitoke nikemboi mm-hmm. because nilikuja nikapata habari mm-hmm. eh, cause unajua madam wangu already ni kwanga nimempea namba ya masi 
na masi hizo nyakati alikuwa masi was my sister mm. alikuwa anajua kiarabu vizuri hizo nyakati mm -hmm. so wakaongea na masi kabisa mm -hmm. akamwambia vile nimefanya makosa nimefanya mm -hmm. but masi akanipigia simu akaniambia vile wameongea akaniambia hata madam amefurahi vile ulifanya wana walikuwa wanasema ule Bangladesh alikuwa na kichwa ngumu na madharau mm -hmm. so hata walichangia mimi kumpiga yani walifurahi ila wangi niambie juu hiyo nyakati mimi ni kwa mgeni si kwa najua kiarabu so hapo pia nilifurahi juu hiyo pia ilikuwa tu mm, niliwasaidia pia hapo i think ila sasa ndio piga mido anyway fast forward uka ukatoka kwa contract tukaenda kwa kwa nini kwa kwa kemboi yeah. maisha yakakuwa nzuri kwa kemboi hafta hapo Okay, eh, kilichofanya sasa ni kuweke boy. Mm -hmm. eh, reason ya kwanza ni mambo ya mshahara madam wangu, kitu ya kwanza vitu zenye tuna agree afanye. Cha pili ni hapa kuwekwa kwa balcony. Eh, na vumbi ikiwa mingi ni homa kila wakati kwa bonjeka, au shughuli. Mm -hmm. Na Saudi shida ya Saudi ni kwamba Mwarabu anataka kumwambia kitu moja mara mia ndio akufanyie. Mm -hmm. Sasa tukimwambia una feel uko mgonjwa ya au ni kama uko serious. So hiyo ni jambo la pili ilichangia. Mm -hmm. Na jambo la nne. Sijui yuma uh, madam wangu ni kama alikuja alikuwa anasikia vibaya mbaba akinilipa, mm -hmm. yani boss. So wakaweka management kwake. Sasa yeye ndiye alikuwa akinilipa. Ni kama walikuwa anampea pesa wanamwambia wewe ndio utalipa mpaka. Sasa yeye wakati wa kulipwa inapita kabisa unakuta hata mwezi umeenda na masiku na wiki. Hapo mm. pia ilikuwa changamoto kwangu juu naacha watoto nyumbani guys vile mm. naweza fanya na mimi ndio nawasaidia na wasomesha school fees. Ah nikaona hii ni kitu. So guys sorry for the noise the neighbors have come up up in here really really making a lot of noise. So just on the to fish as ジャーナルは特殊なんだ。そうです。いたロット。エニウェイ。そう、ファストフォワード。そう、メマイザーナのアボスタコメコアケンボイ。そう、マイシェイリ。オッケー、ハシャトセネオリアモアジェ。レイ
ingaje sasa wakati ulikuja ukaendelea kuna wakati sasa nilikuwa naona vitu kuna vitu fulani siji mtaji nilikuwa naona vitu kadhaa challenges yani ya social media mm -hmm. nilikuwa na hata nilikuwa inanifanya ni skule maji ni vitu gani hizo azina una, 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 una pata labda umepatikana mahali umeojua napata kwa comments unapata comments fulani nikaa mtu amekutusha zilikuwa zinani affect pakubwa sana sana mpaka najipata kitu inago the whole day mpaka nashindwa na kukula sasa na, mpaka kuna wakati nilipata na kuna mwana dada anajitanga manzo kibera hapa tu kwa youtube nilitumana huko message moto moto by the way watu wali ni support kwa kupata mila alikuwa naongea ushit ya yeah, so kulikuwa na challenge oh, kwa niuso mm. ilikuwa challenge pia wakati nilikuwa napatana na vitu zenye zenye ndani lakini sasa to be honest was like you cannot compare me with her we are yeah. two different people i know i know but She's sasa still there mm. yeah. yeah to bring my own thing mm. yeah. but sasa nilikuwa na isi uchungu the one oh yeah sana oh. sana mimi kitu ilikuwa inani affect mm. nikiingia kwa comments sasa nilikuwa na comment na mtana na kisiwa tana haraka. Imagine. Sasa nilikuwa na. Mimi hata mimi adu kitu tu singi like wow. Okay. Okay. wow. Mm -hmm. But the kwa nyuma nyuma ndo nilikuwa na stress. Vitu mingi hadi nikala zangu nikaongezwa maji. You know, mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. my bash is my uncle's girlfriend. Kimwambia like nime nimeenda kwa kwa maji and all. Ndo zola alone. Hey, with no one to take care but yeah, we good now. So guys, it has been a journey, it has been a very long journey. Ndomana mimi, every small progress that I usually make, I usually thank God, I usually share mm. with you guys. Kuna time nilishia na watu niki wanyesha amina kibetu, ndena toa wakwa like, hey, yours is not blessing, wakasema the other, no blessing. And I'm like, it's okay, it's okay, you know, it's not in a bad way. Me, I really love Azir, and that's it, by the way, she's the one when you're living in a dream tip because I was like, I want to be like this girl. I want to be like this girl. I want to be like Azir, I swear. Like, I wanted people to know me from way back. So, like, I'm talking to you, I'm like, bro, you don't know where I am from, yeah? My mom is in Saudi, trying her own way. And her parents are in, I don't know, Germany trying their own things yeah so we are two different people you cannot compare saudi with germany mm -hmm. i know that is gonna some some problems but you can you cannot like literally you cannot mm -hmm. that's germany ni kama hapa then saudi ni kama hapa mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and she's here i'm here which is fine kila mtu kwa na blessing yake kila mtu kwa na time yake mm -hmm. and i'm very very grateful for what i do have my progress at kama ni tuli tudogo tudogo but i'm like yeah I know where I'm coming from, yeah, mm -hmm. from that child of Mantuka Kumuwa because, because of that some things to that child Mwenye, she was physically abused, to that child Mwenye alifungiwa makiakita kolewa, to that child Mwenye aliruka being uh, early pregnancy and early marriage, mm -hmm. early regrets that, oh, Nikon Amtoto, you know, to hear, to hear now. I mean, yote ni progress and yote ni, ni furaha. So what I can like we could manage to like to cargo, like to ship cargo to Kenya, yeah. Unaza wajibu. Okay, process ya cargo. Iko hivi uh, kuna watu wapa Saudi wana tabaka kuchukua. Mm -hmm. Yeah, na Saudi ni kubwa tu kama Kenya hivi. Mm -hmm. Kuna unaza skia pa kuna ito dama. Mm -hmm. Kuna ito ajida. So progress, process ni gani? Kuna ito ajida. Like mtu anafanya aje, ni kama uniambie, mimi alibaba unafanya nenda kwa hapu, unafanya hivyo na tenu. No, 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 no. So, like Kemboys, Kemboys mwina Juliana, wina uneza kuta mtu wako na namba ya watu. Simple like that. Na kama kwa kwa contract? Contract, oh, okay. Ukiwa kwa contract, I don't know, but vile na gays, kini meka Saudi, warabu wengi wako na mambo mingi. Yani warabu wako na mambo mingi. Lakini ya Marabu guess, awezi ku, kubali mtu wakuja kuwa kitu. Lakini ya guess mtu wakwa kwa contract, aina jaku ship for it, usinu? Lea, 
unaweza kuwa labda umepata vitu vingi. Oh, But yeah, sasa sure. itadepend na Mwarabu Mungu nipata. Okay. Because even it's not easy guys. Mwarabu si kama sisi. But okay. the only way you guys can do is Google. Google how to try cargo from Saudi to Kenya. Maybe unaweza pata phone number that you can call WhatsApp, SMS, yeah. whatever. No, like the Kimbo is hata hiyo ni long process. Because Kimbo is wenyewe kwa wenyewe wanapeana tu number. Like mimi siwezi ah, nasema mwenye yako kwa contract. Oh mwenye yako kwa contract. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Na pia kuna groups za WhatsApp unakuta kimbo hizo kwa contract. Oh you can ask. You can ask. Yeah, you can ask. Uh, but uh, kwa mtu mwenye yako. Na unajua pia kwa mtu ako kwa contract, it's not easy. Yeah true. Because Waarabu wana mambo mingi mingi mingi. Wale wako huko wanaweza sema. Mwarabu ni ule hata tu kitu kidogo hata kusomea kusomea alafu uwezi ataenda. Uwezi kanisha mtu fulani. Mwezi mm -hmm. mtu. Labda tu na si wote pia. Mm -hmm. e, nafikiria wengi wanamsikiza wasiona nikisema Waarabu waseme ni wote. Kuna pia Waarabu wazuri. Okay. Na ukipata Waarabu mzuri mm -hmm. na upate namba ya kago, mm huo -hmm. unawaita tu hapo nje mnapeana vitu zangu. Okay. Yeah. Na kuna tena kauliza are you planning to go back to Saudi? Ama that's a for you. Tunaenda kwanza kwa maneno. Sasa. Saudi. Okay. Kwa kwanza Saudi kubali. What address could find the time? Kimaje. So wewe unarudi ama urudi? Ngoja. Si nataka kufikisha hapo kwanza. Kimaje. So kuna watu wamuuliza utarudi Saudi ama Saudi it's a no for you. Yeah. Okay, siwezi hapa but uh, sitarajii kurudi. Mm. <laughs> Unasema wewe na dress pale Saudi sano. No, let me relax thinking. Ngani bado niko nayo lakini shavumilia kwanza. Mimi <laughs> niko na kwa freedom. Okay. Mm. So as you have heard, amesema Saudi arudi and if you want to ask more questions put them at the comment section tutapita tutazijibu in our next episode in our next video in our next vlog okay and as i said keep it locked because here we are bringing good things for you anyway guys thank you so much for watching until next time adios muchachos